Greetings, the country of Colombia. I come to you in the name of the Lord with a message. Repent and be baptized, for the kingdom of heaven is near. For any of you in Colombia who do not yet know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to invite you to become a Christian today and be baptized in the Spirit. In order to become a Christian, you need to start with confession of sins. You can do this by simply saying, I'm sorry, Jesus, for my sins. Thank you for dying to save me. I welcome you into my heart and commit my life to you. But you have to uh, know that you're a sinner, not just say the words. You have to realize that you're a sinner either intellectually or emotionally, spiritually, or both. So if you're ready, if you realize that, and you can say that or something like that in your own words, then I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And you are now a Christian. Congratulations. Welcome to the body of Christ, the family of God. You can now be sure where you'll go when you die. It's called heaven. Eternal paradise with God. That's one God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. One God, three persons. That's called the Trinity law. And if you're a Christian and you go to heaven, then you'll be there with God, and you'll also be there with all the angels and the saints. And also with your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. And also your family members will be there with you if they're Christians when they die. So if you have not yet, uh, if they have not yet accepted Christ and they haven't passed away yet, now you can invite them to become Christian. And you can baptize them as well. Any Christian is, is able to baptize others. There's no magic formula. You just do what I do. And you're, you're a Christian by faith. It's your faith that makes you Christian, by the way. Not the, uh, not the baptism. The baptism is a symbol, a seal, a ceremony. All right? And then so now that you're a Christian, there's a few things you should do as soon as possible. First, you start talking to God. We call that prayer. Second, you start reading the Word of God. That's the Bible. Third, you should start telling others about God, like I'm doing right now. It's called being an evangelist, inviting them to become Christians, telling them how to be saved. A little bit of the story of salvation and the Bible, as much as you know. You can make it a long story or a short story, depending on the context. You'll have to learn how to become an evangelist according to your personality. Not just a formula, but you should include a few things, you know, like specific invitation, that Jesus died for us, invitation to be baptized in the Spirit or in water, or both, things like that. And then fourth, you should join a good church with traditional values that protects unborn life and respects traditional marriage, one man, one woman. But if you can't find a church like that near you, then you should at least try to have fellowship with other Christians of that kind on a regular basis and uh, study the Bible together pray together, fellowship, socialize with each other. That's your small Christian family. And then all the other Christians, all the Christians worldwide, that's your big Christian family. You need both. The arm needs the leg. The leg needs the eye. Big needs small. Small needs big. It's one body. And when we're all healthy, the whole body is healthy. And then uh, I'll add a little more for you to read in the box below. And uh, 
uh, if you have any questions or for a free Bible, message me on YouTube and I'll happily try to help you as best as I can. And I'll be praying for you. Lord, we pray for any new Christians in Columbia. Be with them, guide them, lead them, show them the way. Fill them with your love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, all the fruit of the Spirit. So that they can believe in you and follow you with all their heart, mind, strength, and soul. And they have the courage to tell others about you, to tell the gospel, the good news of you. Jesus Christ, our Savior, everywhere they go. Pray this in your name, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.